What a good girl. What's going on today? Are we working on the Model A truck? That is the Model A truck fender job more or less complete. Still some uh, some work to do on that lower apron there. Bolts are not currently in. This is the uh, finished fenders. The spare tire. <clears throat> spare tire well went in nice, looks good. Fenders come out nice. And the running boards are all in and tight. And back fenders. Overall, um, from what we had to work with there, very content with that. Tail light is going on now. Um, there's the, the welting put in around the fender. Uh, very happy to have gotten it this good. I'm not setting out here to make a piece in any way. This guy, uh, here's the other side. This actually all fit together reasonably well. Uh, very uh, happy with the fit of the, the fender and welting on, on this side as well. Little carriage head bolts on each corner. Uh, so, Overall, overall, I'd have to say that's not bad. There's a nice uh, new grill, but these were, uh, I think, it originally would have been black on most of these uh, pickups. So we're gonna paint it black. What's next? Put the glass in. Do the interior. Uh, but uh, I think we have to figure that that is the last really big hurdle on the on the project. Yeah, overall, I'm quite happy to see it uh, come together and fit as well as it does. There's a reasonable amount more to do yet. Headlight bars on its way, bumper and brackets we're going to put on, and uh, the hood is the next major project for this. See that it's pretty beat up and uh, a lot of kind of hard to tell. It's really been squashed and quite a bit of storage damage and fatigue damage. And you know, she's pretty bent up in a few spots, and there's going to be some that have to be done just to get it back together so we can use it. Really, again, trying to do as little as possible on this. So, uh, this is the, uh, the before shot for the, the hood repair. See that that has really been flattened out and that shouldn't look like that. But overall, actually, a lot of it's very good. Look at how nice the fins are. That's really important on these. Uh, the fins are actually square, so really the rest of it, very happy to work with that. Well, we're sort of set up here. I think I'm going to start with trying to get the front of that so that it'll stay together so we can start on the rest of the uh, damage on it. It's going to require a certain amount of work just to get it to go on and close. And uh, the profile does not match the uh, the shape of the vehicle at all. It looks like it's been uh, stored flat on a shelf and presumably had multiple things thrown on top of it over the years and it is now um, quite deformed but it is the original hood to that truck so at all costs it's going back on because it's actually um, not nearly as bad as it could be. I don't know. I'm just going to see what happens. Start by taking that rivet out. Maybe even see if we can save the rivet. I don't know. Well, we've run into a 
somewhat unusual problem on the Model A hood uh, in that it looks like at some time in the past the uh, the formed hinge here that is part of the hood skin must have fatigued off altogether and the hood side fell off and so some fairly ambitious person has actually cut the hood back and refolded a hinge into it um, and it actually was fairly functional but now it's an inch at least an inch too short so that makes for a pretty involved repair because it's not really how we want it to fit so all we're going to be able to do is make um, a new piece that and then we're going to cut it in here. I'm going to extend all this and throw all that away and make a new, make it all fit again. So that's, uh, yeah, I'm surprised I never really noticed that, but of course I haven't really worked on the hood until today. So that's going to add um, a couple hours to this job for sure because uh, we want it to be kind of invisible, so uh, I'm gonna get started on that, so I think I'm just gonna make the piece first make the whole hinge and everything and I'll make it too long and then we'll clamp it in place mock the whole thing up on the vehicle and Then mark where we're gonna do the cut and then we'll cut it and then we'll weld everything together again and hope that it works a bit disappointed because I really wanted to have the hood on there uh, last night and now it'll be now will be at least at least a day here to fix that. But uh, you know, it's a million years old, so what are you gonna do? Okay, we cut a sheet of 18 gauge and just kind of sketched our new piece in there with uh, some grade seven and a, a pen. So, uh, okay, I'm going to cut this out and then we'll start, you know, bending and whatever there is to do. And they're folded and hammered over and whatnot. Um, so, let's try uh, the very first fit against the hood here. A bit jiggly. Well, there's the very first fit, uh, pretty much what we wanted, it's nice, uh, tight. So tomorrow I'm going to weld uh, this to the hood and cut that edge off. Weld this one on and we'll have her back to the original length. Then I'm going to fold all the edges over to match. I'm just not going to get too carried away because I don't know where this line is going to be. So we're going to hang it on the hood tomorrow, maybe with a couple of screws, and then kind of just dry fit it to the car so that we get the seam here exactly right. But uh, overall, it seems to work fine. It's all very tight and no grease because I have to paint it. So you can see that that is just about touching in there, a couple of spots, so it's making it a little stiffer 
than it was. But it'll uh, it'll come around, and uh, let's get her welded up. All right, at this point we've uh, trimmed off the uh, the previous hinge roll here, and tried to trim only just barely past what we needed to. Left ourselves just uh, as much as we can below this body line. Want to put on as little as possible, and just barely taking the paint off enough to weld it. We've trimmed our new panel to just what we need. Here we've rolled the edges over just enough to, to begin fitting it up, leaving ourselves, you know, a little room for adjustment because it's not pounded right flat yet. So the next step is to fit this to the cut hood, see if we can make it all work. Okay, there's the finished repair on the side of the hood. Uh, turned out just fine. Looks good. Fits good. There we are. So now, the next job is to try and bring some of this back. It's not terrible, terrible, but we did buff the rest of the truck body. And so this looks a little tired now. So I'm going to wet sand this very lightly just to take the overspray and crap off of it from it sitting around. Uh, I've hammered most of the big dents out of it. It's not, it's not ever going to be great, but can't get too carried away with the hammer because then the paint starts coming off. So since the paint is uh, what we're trying to save, we're going to just give it a light buff and that'll be good enough. I think I think that one of the most uh, satisfying parts of this of uh, putting an old vehicle together is when you get uh, when you get the doors functioning. And then now we can see we have handles and window crank and new weather stripping and all that and a latch. I did not want to replace the latch, but the original one was just utterly thrashed just would not even hold the door shut so um yeah anyway we do have to put a couple of new pieces in i saved the old one if a guy was ambitious but whatever we're just about getting it finished here watch your nose watch your nose frangers hey anyway that is really satisfying because it sounds great and it looks good and it fits good and all the bumpers are in Frankers is in. No, you can't get in Frankers. Sorry, buddy. This one's not for you. And the lock works. And the windows work. This is an original piece. One of the few pieces we decided to paint. We painted the dash. So we painted these. Still have to do the door panel upholstery. But we do have a functioning door now. So that's kind of fun. Still stiff, but that's very typical with the new wetter stripping. There's new rubber up here, and there's new rubber in there, and there's a new rubber, whoop, and there's a new rubber along here. And uh, yeah, and the bumpers top and bottom. Just fell off. Oh, the window crank. Yeah, I'll have to go find that. Frankers, would you go get the window crank for me, please? It's under the car somewhere. Come on. What do you suspect that your job here is? No, it's not just that. You also have to go get stuff that's under the car for Dad. Do you know what I'm saying? Right, what a nice girl. Did you go get that for me? That is one finished door. Instructions. All right, right here. Yeah, the little oily thing there. Okay. I'll okay, take blah, 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 side spring valve, whatever. Blue pill or red pill? Yeah, right. Good, they sent the right one. But, uh, left and right bowl gaskets. Parking seal, short one long rivet, crease. Do -do 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 -do. Remove back cover, remove. Versing valve components, remove the six cover screws, gently, blah, 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 
Okay, let's do this. Stay in practice, go to. Hmm? Okay, to at least. I mean, if it does work, we don't want to have to take it all apart again, so let's, uh, where's that shit? I don't know how much of this we're supposed to need. Probably not very much. It's just pretty straight. It comes with a little fucking thing. Right? Whatever. Okay. Increase the bushings. And nothing else. We don't want it anywhere else. We don't want it all over there. Gaskets done. This thing goes thus. But I am the Frankers. I must be able to do whatever I want because I am cute. I suppose if I was going to do more than one of these, I would buy the correct wrench. Guy starts buying every tool. Next thing you know, we don't have any cars, we just have tools. Kind of. It's amazing these things worked at all when they were new, they're so goddamn fussy. I'm not going to index the screw heads, I'm just going to go down as a hacker. Uh, this thing opens and closes all these nice little valves here to some extent. Oh, and I see it connects them to each other. Pretty straight up. And then this seems to definitely have been rubbing on that. Thus, that definitely looks like it's had a spring running on it. This looks like you jam it over top. Is that right? Because that one is that guy inside. Yeah, maybe, hey? Who knows? Mini. motor somehow still working. Uh, I'd like to say that was easy but it took a couple evenings of uh, really going through it very carefully. But uh, when hooked up to a semi-reliable source of vacuum it seems to be uh, every bit as reliable as the wipers on the Dodge. Which isn't saying much assembling the interior today. We're just putting the wind lacing together and uh, all the door hardware. We've got the steering column uh, put together with the three, four position light switch. Very happy with that, seems to be working horn, whatever. So, the column can go back in, just putting it all back together. And there's a big, there's a uh, assembly on the end here that holds all the actual switching. And then the wires are coming out of that, so that all has to be installed and made to work. Uh, I don't, I think we showed the headlight painting process so that is done because this is a truck we're going everything uh, a lot of this would have been chrome or polished on a, on a fancier model but on the trucks everything is very basic so we decided that it would look more authentic to paint all of the uh, nice shiny new chrome pieces got a decent used headlight bar from the eBay 
landscape. It's not really a showpiece, but neither is the rest of it. Uh, we are going to be putting the bumper together now, and uh, the windshield is getting glass cut. So once the glass is cut for the windshield, we'll be putting that together. I have to paint the repair on the hood. I'm going to put a little paint on this repair on the door. Not too much other paint though, really avoiding painting anything that we don't have to. Uh, the other glass is in. We have to do the other door panel here. Uh, I have some holes to drill because this is all new and the holes are not marked for where the door panel goes on. All of the uh, insert fuzzy things are in, so that's nice. Everything's a little stiff yet, but it'll, it'll come together. With a little bit of use, we have an interior kit for Model A truck. Probably among the more basic interior kits you'll ever see. The quality looks very good. And uh, it's all cut and ready to go. We're just trimming and tucking the wind lace. That goes on here. There's another piece that has to go on the front of the door, which is very... Uh, it actually goes in this slot here. Can you, can you see? Yeah. It goes in this slot, and so that means we have to dig out all the old stuff, which is uh, actually quite a pain in the ass. It's just stuck in there for years. So. We've got the, the door stops roughed in here. They're adjustable. So I've left them at the widest setting while we're still assembling the car. Dash is roughed in. Um, we're trying to save as many of the original Canadian production uh, Robert's Head fasteners as we can. For some reason American built cars had flat screws so we're trying to save what we can. They're not all saveable. A lot of them have been stripped out. A lot of them got rounded out when they were put in at the factory. So Header rail is going in. And it all starting to look very nice against the new roof. I don't think there's any trim back here at all. And uh, we'll be putting the trim in on here. Yeah. Latches had to be replaced. Would have preferred to save the originals, but they are just utterly shagged. We're saving the original handles where we can. Or at least the handles that were with the vehicle when we got it. Everything fits and operates perfectly, so that's really what matters. So we need Model A update with Paul, who has actually willingly financed this entire thing. This is a one-man operation, this. So, uh, I don't know. Sleeping in my garage over Yeah, there. right? <laughs> Living in a box. <laughs> Sold the house. Uh, well, a little progress. I was uh, looking at the first video and I felt, well, that's progress. You know, we're looking at something that's starting to look like something you could drive. Definitely looks better than the day we went and picked it up out of that field. Yeah, it's coming. What's left? Glass. Let's have a look at the inside of the door. Do you think, though, when we saw it in that field the first day, it would look like this? No, I, uh... Doubts? Well, I didn't... I didn't think you could get it this good, you know? I didn't think that we could, yeah, that we could get it this good. Like, I think the box is the biggest treat. How much of that came back and how cool that looks. Um, hey, that's, it's pretty plush, these things, these Model A trucks. Even <laughs> labeled doorpost. Yeah, look at that, eh? So, kind of fun, you because you actually just, you get to nail it all in, right? So you can just put the nails wherever you want. So I've just been like making little smiley faces in there, you know? <laughs> oh, what do you think of this? I think, uh, I think we, uh, there's this, I don't even know what this does, but there's an old, there's a, a oh, one I think that by was two. The, I think that was to, to hold something up. Something was sitting on that. You can just leave it. I don't really care. It's the we door panel. should leave that, right? Like, I think I we have the, to leave that. I don't think the door panel is going to go over with that wire there, but... Um, or it's going to drive down the road and you're going to hear it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to hear it. Oh, actually, you know, it does some it's fucking fine. structurally sound wire. It's actually... Yeah, it's fine. It's a piece of barbed wire, isn't it? Uh, Can I sit on there? Maybe. Yep. 
Okay, lighting test in the Model A hit me. Park. Yeah. Off. Yeah. Low. Yeah, okay. Off. Yeah. Park. It's awesome. Very exciting. Oh, we don't, oh, you know what we should do? Let me hook up the test light and we'll see if the horn works. Okay. There, okay. It's delivery day on the Model A. And Paul. What do you think? We made it, hey? Pretty fucking good. Pretty excited. Only took a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like two and a half hours of YouTube time. That's it. That's right. Easy two and a half hour touch up job. It looks nice at night. I wasn't even out of the garage yet. I'm like, yep, welcome to Canada. It's already stuck. <laughs> yeah, it's already stuck. It's already stuck and covered in salt and it's only gone eight feet. <laughs> the tire was spinning pretty fast, I do have to say. Nope. This is a regular eh, contributor. Same old shit. <laughs> 